In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a pixel perfect grid using our Adobe InDesign plugin called Grid Calculator Pro Edition. Now, before you turn off this video thinking, I'm not gonna be working in InDesign, I'm gonna be working in whatever software you might be working with, that's not the point. The point of this video is to show you how easy it is to extract the values for your grid system with our plugin and then take those values and work in whatever software that you want. So with that said, let's start up the plugin. The first thing we're gonna do once we have started up the plugin is to change the units to points and pixels. One of my customers actually approached me with some of the requirements he needed for his grid system. He was gonna be working with an app. He sent me these details, screen size 375 by 667 pixels. The baseline grid needs to be eight pixels. The left and right margin needs to be 16 pixels and the gutter, which is the space between the columns, cannot be smaller than four pixels, but it can be larger. So with this in mind, let's jump back to the plugin and let me show you just how easy it is to set this up. So we're here in the plugin working with points and pixels. Let's change the width to 375, the height to 667 pixels. And finally on the screen, we're gonna change to eight pixel letting. If we take a look at the baseline grid, which is the same as the letting, it's 8.036 points. Now, when you're working with a pixel-based grid system, you wanna make sure that all the values are whole values. It can't be broken values like this, or 2.3, or 8.036, or whatever. It needs to be exactly eight, and so on. So, we're obviously not gonna be working with the document grid, which is just an element of the grid system. Instead, we're gonna to jump to margins, columns, and rows, and there's a way of deleting this and setting up our own grid system, not based on the document grid. And that can be achieved by checking the boxes called value for the top and bottom margin and the left and right margins. Now, the first thing that we can do is we can set up the side margins to 16 pixels. The little more tricky part is making sure that our baseline grid is exactly eight pixels within the top and bottom margin, but it's actually very, very easy using our plugin. So all we need to do is we need to play around with these two fields here. This is the top margin and this is the bottom margin. And if we take a look at the letting value while we edit those, we can actually see exactly what the value is. So if I set my top margin to three pixels, it's gonna give me exactly eight pixel baseline grid. But I don't want that, I want something else. So I can continue playing around here. Let's do this and let's... Okay, so if we have five pixels for the top margin, six pixels for the bottom margin, that's gonna result in an eight pixel baseline grid. So the last step is setting up our columns. So I'm gonna go into custom setup here and I'm just gonna play around. So let's say that we wanna have three columns. Now, before we have applied the gutter, we can actually see what the value of each column is. So what we need to do is we need to use the gutter value to produce a whole value for the column width while also making sure that our gutter is a whole value. So I'm just gonna play around here. So remember he said it needs to be at least four pixels for the gutter. So let's jump to four. That doesn't work because it's a broken value. Let's jump to five and we can see that it actually produces a whole value. If I wanna have more gutter, I can jump up to eight. Let's jump back to five again and let's try with four columns. That also works. It gives us a column width of 82. If I go down to four pixels, that's not gonna work. Let's go to a higher value. If I have a gutter of nine pixels, that's also gonna work. So basically all you need to do here is just play around. And once you're happy, just take those values and go to whatever software that you're working with and you have everything set up. So I hope you liked this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Drop a comment. Thanks for watching.